life was given to us. It happened to us. We didn't choose to be born, okay? It was put in our lap and now it's happening. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I've boiled down three lessons for you to the most essential, practical, and meaningful parts and aspects. Number one, have a purpose that is meaningful. Before I share what my meaningful purpose is, I would like to share what I think is not a purpose or is not a meaningful purpose. The list goes on forever, but here are some examples. A, a boy or a girl. Your purpose cannot be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your parents or your sister or your brother just doesn't work that way the reason it cannot be another person is people don't belong to you your purpose is something that belongs to you that you can take full ownership of your purpose has to be something that is meaningful to you and we're going to get into that b your purpose cannot be a paycheck this is the rat race that a lot of people fall into oh next week i'm getting my paycheck that becomes their purpose their drive to live week to week your purpose cannot be your paycheck. This is too short term, short term thinking. We're gonna get into long wave thinking soon. Your purpose cannot be a material possession. You are a living being. A material possession is the opposite. So what is a good purpose? I'm gonna share mine right now. My purpose in life is to live a profound life. You see how that feels different when you say it? My purpose in life is to live a profound life. That's my personal purpose. That's a very expanding purpose because under profound, there are many profound things that I can choose from. It gives me choice. When choosing a purpose, think of something that's big. For example, my purpose is to feed as many children or provide as many homes for children as possible. That's a purpose that gives you so many choices. You can choose so many different ways of getting there and it's a good purpose. Number two, Practice long wave thinking. What does that mean? Long term thinking means delayed gratification. Delayed gratification means working on something for yourself. Delayed gratification means working at it without getting any reward, without getting any gratification. This is my YouTube channel right now. Very little, uh, very little gratification. Not many people watch, not many people like, not many people give positive comments. It's okay. It's delayed gratification. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for validation. I'm looking to improve myself, to practice filmmaking, and to better myself. And I'm okay with getting that gratification however many years down the road, 10 years, 20 years, I'm okay with that. I know that if I keep working on this, keep focusing on this, it can go nowhere but up, just like a tree. It's just like planting a seed, watching that baby grow. Just gotta water it with my attention, with my love, and with my practice. Another example for practicing delayed gratification, patience and persistence. You could take this to the gym. In the gym, some people tend to go in for a week or two and they're not seeing results, so they give up. You have to have patience and persistence. You have to keep on going. You have to keep working, keep grinding. After about six months to a year, then maybe you'll start seeing some results. Before we lived in this hyper world of cell phones and interconnection, everything was slow. You would send a letter and it would take three to four weeks to arrive. You would have to take a ship over to another country and be in that boat for months on end. Things were slow, but in the slowness, you are able to learn from yourself and you're able to pay attention to the details. That you would have missed if you are going at hyperspeed. Practice long wave thinking in financial stability. How are you spending your money right now? Are you spending it on Xboxes? Are you spending it on shoes? What are you spending it on? It's either an asset or a liability. So an asset would be spending on index funds, putting it into real estate, spending it on a stock that you feel really good about. If you're spending on clothes, on toys, on makeup, this is a depreciating asset. Make sure that you are investing your money into something that is long wave. Long wave is when you're older, you're gonna be like, wow, I'm very happy with the sow I reaped. Number three, last but not least, very important one, seek balance in everything in your life. A big one for young people is for their parents. As a young person, we tend to really focus on all the negative things our parents did, all the wrongs, why they were not good enough parents. 
Try to balance that out with the positive things your parents did. Your parents did one positive thing in their life. First off, they gave you a life. That's a positive thing. Wow, I have this opportunity to live right now. Thank you. That's a positive thing. No matter all their faults, how evil they seem, there's something positive about them. Think about it, balance it. Because if you think about your parents so negatively, you're thinking about yourself negatively, vibrationally, vibration. Find something positive and just go back to that moment, sit with it, breathe with it, pay attention to it, see how you feel. Seeking balance in your knowledge. A lot of my friends and a lot of the people I know and a lot of people around me are constantly watching Netflix shows, are constantly entertaining themselves, distracting themselves from their life. Distractions are necessary in your life. But when it's so unbalanced and so skewed and just distraction, 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 that's unhealthy. Balance that with education. Read an educational book, something that will make you better. Read something science fiction. Read something poetic. Read something about music. Just educate yourself. Learn. Become better. Betterment. You want to better yourself. Balance the knowledge you intake. A famous philosopher once said, you are what you thinketh. It's true. Not only that, you are what you eat as well, but you are also what you think. So really balance what you're taking in because you, in a way, become what you are watching, what you are absorbing. Vibrationally, you become that. Be very picky with what you let into your brain. All right, that's it. Those are the three lessons that I have learned in my life. And I just want to say that every day is an opportunity to learn. You have a chance to take everything that happens to you as a lesson. Life was given to us. It happened to us. We didn't choose to be born. Okay? It was put in our lap and now it's happening. So every single day is a day to learn, a day to become better, and a day to expand and learn more about yourself. Focus on yourself. Be selfish in a compassionate way. Really do be selfish. Work out. Stay healthy. Balance the knowledge in your mind. Think long wave. Think for your grandchildren. Think for this planet. Think about what you want the next generation of your family to inherit. What's your legacy? Think far in advance. Thank you for watching. Repping the Zen and T shirt. Zen means a beginner's mind coming down, sitting at the tea table with a beginner's mind, an open mind, a clean mind, an empty mind, and ready to fully receive something new and something profound. My name is Noah. My purpose is to live a profound life every single day and to help you live a profound life as well. Have a beautiful rest of your night or day, whatever time you're watching, and I'll see you later in another video. Peace. And I've been waiting for